Hi and welcome back to another Staring Photo Cards video. Today I have a ton, I'm going to tell you that. Um, as you can see, um, it's a pretty thick stack. I actually can't really hold it in one hand. Um, there is a ton of 17 because I added a new member to my collection, but there's also a lot of other members. So we'll start right away with 80s because that's the first group I have actually stuff for. And let's see. Oh, there we are. Um, so for 80s, the only cards I need to work on are the cards for um, Fever Part 2, that was the name of the album. For a second, I forgot. Okay, I think like this it's a bit better. So I actually did decide to collect Yosang as well for um, the photo cards. So I kind of think, do I rearrange? I don't have any Yosang apart from that one. For now, I'm not gonna rearrange. I've just decided that. <laughs> the only card I have anyways is this Hongjun Limited, um, it's the Z version, I think, so that's the only one I have. Since Yosang is currently in that spot, I'm just gonna move in one down, and after this video, I will um, set up for collecting three members, um, because if you know, I usually collect Mingi, he isn't in this comeback, and so I thought I'd just collect the two, but then there really so many fan sign things, and I joined Go for all of them, and they come with the album inclusion, so I will have a ton of cards coming in the mail, so I thought, why not collect three? And I actually think that's it. Then we can go to pre-orders. Oh, Jesus. This is gonna be a pain. I can tell you that. They have so many pre-orders. Um, the one I currently have right here is the Y Global one, I think it's called. Or y YG Global? Y Global? Something like that. This is Hong Jung's. It is a holo. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. It looks super cute. So, yeah, I do have that. Uh, once I have all of them, which I think I joined a go for all of the ones they released as of now. I will rearrange this so that it will look a bit better, but for now I'm just sticking them in in which order I get them. Okay, then, oh, oops, I forgot an Astro card. I don't know why I put that in the back, but we can go to Blue Flame somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, finally got the last Rocky photo card I needed, and I do have the bookmark coming in the mail as well, so this page will be complete quite soon. Right. Oh, look at that. So awesome. Okay. And then for this page, I still need the bookmark. I think the one I bought got cancelled on Neo Kyo, so I will have to look for that one again, but that's okay. And last thing I have in this binder is a Wanas card somewhere in the back. This binder is also pretty full. Um, I'm still debating which group I'm gonna take out, so... Yeah, but let's go to one else first. Okay, I finally got the last Xion card, uh, the pre-order I was missing. I did pull Raven, I'm pretty sure, and then I was able to trade for Xion. So I do have the completed pre-orders for this mixed around now. I still don't have these for um, Suhu and Xion yet, but they're not priority at all. So I kind of, I don't know, <laughs> didn't really look for them yet. But that's it for this binder and we're going over onto my SM group binder. Alright, um, so I have quite a few exciting things for um, my binder this time and I'm very 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 excited to show them to you. So first off I finally have some more album cards. I've really been working on my album collection to hopefully complete it soon. I'm not missing much which is why I'm currently working a lot on it and trying to find trades and sales. So I still need this Hechan. Um, I did join um, a group order for well, not a group order, but a person who's doing like proxy. He's um, there, I can like a proxy. And I bought all of the cards I'm missing for NCT, but I didn't hear yet if they could secure it for me or not. So if they did, my NCT collection is actually completed. But first card I have is this T version Taeyong. Um, yeah, funny story. I bought these cards like way, way back when this was just released from that one Twitter person. And uh, they have a store and everything, and I bought from them before. And I did really, really like it. Uh, I'm going to continue on, not so not that we're just looking here. But I did buy all of these, including the circle cards from them for Taeyong. And yeah, that didn't work out at all. Uh, they still didn't ship it. They've been MIA for like months. And yeah, I kind of think they scammed at this point. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I had to rebuy. In the T case, uh, T version, I actually managed to find a trade. And I don't even remember what I traded, but I did trade with someone for that. And then for um, NNC, I just bought it from someone. 
But yeah, that was annoying because I technically bought it twice now because the other time I got scammed out of all three cards and circle cards. So that's pretty much annoying. Um, next card I have is the circle card by Taeyong. Um, I did buy this one and the other one I traded for uh, the second player because I did work on this collection. Um, again, the photo cards bought them on this proxy um, person, but I don't know if they were able to secure it for me. Um, here's the second one. I trade my Doyang circuit card for it. So we can take that out. But yeah, hopefully, as I said, the proxy is able to secure all cards I uh, put for them because then my NCT collection is totally complete and up to date apart from the new Dream Comeback. Oh, oops. <laughs> Um, I actually think I'll do a video of me just doing all of them because they have a lot of cards this time for NCT Dream. So I may just go, since I'm collecting three members, um, I may just go ahead and try to get all of them and then store all of them at one point and do a video about it. But I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that is it for these cards. And very exciting. I actually managed to get Taeyong's, um Neo Zone Kino. Um, I had Mark for the longest time and since they started reprinting I was able to find a trade for a Taeyong so I traded my Mark off for this Taeyong and now I have all of his uh, 127 Kino cards. These are actually the only Kinos I collect for him because um, 2020 is way too overpriced and I um, have been thinking about my collection a lot so I kind of wanted to cut back a bit and that's the decision I made. The only Kinos I'm collecting for him are 127 ones at this point. So that's it, and we have, let's see, <laughs> Dream Next. So I finally am completing We Go Up. I was able to get a second Jamin crew card and trade that for Hechan, which is why I finally have this. Um, I'm super happy I have it. It was super difficult to find, but um, yeah, I'm very happy that I was able to find a trade. So with that, we completed everything. Oh my God, this looks amazing. So. Now, I think we're actually up to date apart from... Re oh no, wait, we are missing one Reboom card, I remember now. But yeah, we do have these completed. Do you see this without a glare? Yeah, you do. Okay, that's a good. Then we have We Go Up completed. This is the only card I still need, this Jamin Reboom card. Which I did also claim in this pr from this proxy server, so let's see. And then I do have Reload completed for quite a while. So it's really only this one card for Jamin to complete Dream and a new release. Okay, next thing is Way V. It's not actually official, but I really, really want to put these. Oops. I really want to put these two Polaroids in because they're super cute. And I don't know where else to store them, so I really want to do that. And I kind of think I'll just put them in the middle. Um, I do like. Which one do I like more? I guess I like this selfie a bit more than this one, but that's also really cute. I will put this in front and this in the back. I hope that looks good. Okay, and the other one on the back. Alright, this is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. Okay, and we are also completing a few things for my other NCT units. So for one, I finally got this Yang Yang. So um, I said I didn't know what happened with this, like these two cards that I bought in a set. Um, I finally noticed that it was cancelled from Neo Q, so I didn't actually have it on the way. Um, so I actually was able to trade for this Yang Yang, and then the yearbook I just bought on Mercari, so I do have that coming. And this is also another card I claimed in the proxy, so if it comes, this is completed. Um, I also traded off one of my extra cards I had for... I don't even remember what I traded it for, but I did trade it for something. Um, so I only have seven now, which does look cool. And we also have this page, which we are completing today. I have Lanjun's SX card. Um, this was in a group order and it took a while, but it finally got here. So we are completing this page today. Oh, Jesus, please come out. There we go. I still don't know if I want to keep it in this layout. I've been thinking about maybe moving the three cards like this, but I'm not sure yet. But that's all of my top six full cards and my top three access cards. And we have this card. Um, I have Lenjun's ID. This comes from the same person I got the access card from, which is why I got them together. And this completes my access cards. Um, Doyoung was shipped off to me finally. And for this headshot, I'm still not sure what's going on. So I hope I get that soon. But yeah, technically I'm done with 
uh, 2020 as well. So that's very nice. And I did also trade off another one of these cards for something I was missing, but I don't remember what. Okay, now we come to my non-album section. I actually have quite a few things this time, which is very much exciting. I'm excited. Uh, I've kind of been cutting back on collecting him, as you probably noticed. I've not been up to date at all, but I did see some cards for decent prices, so I did buy them. So I have these five cards to store. Um, I don't really know which one comes first, I'll be honest. Um, this card is still in Korea. They don't know when they'll be able to ship it off. <laughs> I bought like almost a year ago now. So that's very exciting, I guess. Um, okay, this is the page I'm looking for. So the thing is, these are all from the first back to school kit. These are all from the second back to school kit. So I kind of want to store these together, um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Oh, actually I do have an idea, okay. Let me just quickly rearrange this. All right, so this is how I'm going to be storing it for now. Um, I have the uh, back to school kit from last year on the top. Then the summer kit pre-order benefits, which have two out of three, are right here in the middle. And then the photo cards from the back to school kits are right here on the bottom row. For now, that fits perfectly, I think. Okay, and then the last thing we have is, let's see. I actually have two more things, not just one thing. Okay, this is kind of a problem. I have this um, Tower Records card for Taeyong from Love Holic. And I don't know where to start, so I don't really know what to do with it right now. Uh, I don't know. For now, I'm going to put it on the back of this, which does not make sense at all. I will, like, since there's also a lot of different errors on this, I'm going to, like, move it. <laughs> but for now, it's just gonna have to stay like this. And I have one last card, which is very exciting. It is somewhere right here. Here it is. So, I was able to find the Taeyong Proshu from NCT 127 for a pretty decent price, so I did buy it right away. And um, I think this is the AR and this is the Proshu, so I guess I'll just move this one here and this one here or something. I think that would look good. I'm not gonna... Oh, wait, we have six cards, right? Oh, I have a good idea. I have a pretty good idea. Okay. So we are going to put these two because that's the same outfit and they're both from like Japan pre-orders or not, not pre-orders but this is from a fan meeting and this is from the concert. So I'm going to put these here. And then I'm going to put the other things in the middle because they stand out a lot because of the color. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to, actually I'm going to put that one here, and that one here, and then we have a six side pattern. I think I like that. And we always have the one that looks quite similar next to each other, which I think looks good. Okay, that was the last non-album town card I had, and actually the last thing I needed to put away in this binder. We can go on to my normal boy group binder now. Alright, we have my normal boy group binder. We do have a few things this time. But most of it is for my 17 binder, actually. Okay, so Gravity is done. There's nothing to do here. Kingdom. This is where we are storing our last two cards to complete my Kingdom collection. So I do have the final photo card, album photo card from Dan. I did buy this and I was just waiting for it to get here. So this completes my album photo cards. And with this Mujin from their second Makestar project, I'm also completing the pre-orders I wanted to collect to fill up a page. And we are done with my kingdom collection. Oh, I love their cards, I'll be honest. I really, really love them. So for people who don't know, this is the Make Star 1. This is the normal album photo cards. And this is Make Star 2 for my top three, which are Dan, Mujin and Arthur. And yeah, I think that looks amazing. Good. Now moving on to Pentagon. I have one card for the new release. I did already um, get the other ones, but they're still in the Neokyo warehouse. Uh, this is the only one I just bought off of Instagram. So I just wanted to do that quickly. This is one of his cards. I don't even remember where this is from. I think it's the third set, but don't quote me on this. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on the bottom row. 
Um, for now, I'm going to put it right here. If I like the other one more, I'll move it, but yeah, that's why it is for now. Good. Next thing I have is the boys. Um, let's see. The boys is right here. So I kind of am debating something. <laughs> um, I'm debating if I'm just gonna go ahead and just collect Q for the Steeler as well. I almost completed new, so why not just get the last few cards for uh, Q either? Um, I don't know. Um, I do have four. So we're doing pink first. Let's see which one is this. This one is the middle, I'd say. And this one is the... Yeah, good. This is the middle. And this is the outer side. And for the red version, these are super hard to find. Uh, so I'd like to see which one is which. Um, I'd say this one is a bit lighter. This actually looks like the one right here. I'm not sure. Um, once I get the other one, I'll see it for sure. But let's see. Okay, they look super similar. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to put this in the middle for now, but I don't know if that's correct. Okay, but this is what this put page looks like for now. I am missing like three cards, as I said. And I do have all of his tickets and plenty, so yeah, there we go. Onto treasure. Um, yeah, announcement, I've decided to stop collecting Junk Q. Um, I was just not motivated at all to collect him. Um, if you know treasure, um, people are selling his cards for ridiculous prices or you can't find his cards at all or they're already sold out. And I did catch myself like, not looking for his cards at all so um i've decided to take a step back and collect my top two instead which are hyunsuk and yedam so and i actually found a picture of them which is really cute but i did want to keep my cards that i did have at this point for jungkyu and i actually have the last card i needed to complete his collection with that so this is the last selfie i needed or his last card i need in general since i'm not collecting him for treasure effect or any release onwards this was the last card i needed so with that, I completed all of his cards that I wanted to collect. So we have chapter one complete. We have chapter two complete. We have chapter three completed. And now we come to treasure effect. I already did move um, the cards to make a six up pattern instead. And I do have quite a few, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't, have, don't really have a lot. <laughs> Good, um, so um, for these cards, I was able to find a trade um, both are concepts from the orange version and they are going in the middle so I have let's see da, 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 da. okay Yansek is going right here and Yadam is going right here I can already put these fillers okay I quickly filled these up with paper and we can go over on two yeah more pre-orders <laughs> um, I was able to find a trade for Yadam, which this is his first press photo card. I do have um, Hyunsuk's on the way as well, so we are good on that. I actually do have Junkyu's coming, um, so I'm going to actually maybe continue collecting his first press cards because those aren't really expensive um, and you can usually find them quite easy. So I don't know about that one, but I do have this. Okay, that's actually it for this binder. TXT is having a comeback soon, so I hope I get their cards quickly. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. Let's move on onto my last binder. Alright, so the last binder is my new i5 binder, which I did set up off camera because um, it was kind of a pain, <laughs> so I just decided to do it here. Um, and I'm only storing my 17 collection in here because, as you can see, even with just 17 it is quite thick. I don't know how long I'll be able to store it in here. Um, at one point I may have to move it back to a bigger binder. But for now it does fit perfectly in here and since I'm collecting two members it looks quite good. So I have a ton of Vernon cards which is the second member I added to my collection. Um, I was debating collecting my top three which would be Joshua or Dino, I'm actually not sure. So, um, But yeah, I'm actually just happy with collecting two and I think it looks amazing. So we can start right away with this person, oh, this release, Boys B. I have both of Vernon cards. I was a bit scared of getting these um, because I was scared I was not going to find them but it was quite decent actually. So let's just move and put this one right here and this one right here. Um, I do use smaller sleeves for these and I'm not the biggest fan of them I'll be honest. 
because they move around a lot in the thing. But yeah, this looks amazing. I love this. Also, this kind of annoys me. So we have my boy speed collection completed already. My car to R2 nice aren't here yet. They are still in the Neokyo warehouse. You can go over going 17. I only have one card here. The other ones are in the Makari warehouse. So we have... The, this is the only vending card I have. And I think that's the first one, right? Yep, it is. Okay. Since there's only three cards for going 17, I uh, probably will just go and collect maybe... Um, I maybe just go ahead and collect um, units to units to fill up the space like I do with AL1. Because like this it looks super weird. <laughs> um, but yeah. Next we need have we have is actually AL1 and I do have the complete set on the way, or not even on the way, I have it here. So I do have all three of Vernon's cards. I did claim these in a group order. So we can just put them right in. Uh, I don't know if the versions are like correct, like how I stored it. Um, but I did want to store it like this because of the backs. I'll show you in a second what I mean. Let me put them in first. Okay, this is what I mean. So these bags are from like the very top, sky or head. Then these are both from the middle parts of the body. So, and then the bottom part is just like shoes or the ground, like here. So I kind of wanted to store it like this. Maybe I will rearrange at one point, but I think it actually looks okay. There we go. This looks so good. I love it. Look at that. Um, I do want to trade the vocal unit for the hip hop unit just to make it cohesive because I have the performance unit with Hoshi and I would need the hip hop unit to have Vernon in it but if I can't find a trade I'm going to keep the vocal unit so that's also fine with me. Okay, next is Teenage. I don't have that yet for Vernon. They are both, uh, they actually all four are in the Neo Q warehouse. Uh, next thing we have is Director's Cut which is kind of weird because I joined the group order and I also actually claim Joshua's cards. Um, including his Lenti. Oh, I actually claimed one of his cards, I have to say that. I claimed this card. Then I claimed the full set by Vernon and I did claim the Lenti for Joshua, but I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so for now, I'm going to put them to the side and just store the cards I actually have. So I think the blue one is on top. Is that correct? It is. Okay, so this is Vernon's blue card and that one is going right here. And we have the red version for Vernon. And I can finally say this. All of the Hoshi cards I'm missing are finally on the way to me. Um, yeah, funny story. I bought them over a year ago on like March 2020 from an eBay seller. And they were never able to ship it off because of COVID. So I had them sitting at the seller for over a year. And I finally messaged them again um, if they were able to ship out. And they say they were if I pay a bit more for shipping and I just decided to do it at this point because I was tired of waiting. I bought them in like March 2020 so honestly I just was I just was over it at this point and just wanted the cards. So finally all cards that I still missing like for example this one are finally on the way to me. So yes, thank goodness. Okay this is the Lenti and I actually also bought this Vernon crew card so once this is here this is also completed. Then we have uh, You Make My Day, which is also a few cards that I'm missing for um, Hoshi, which are on the way now, finally. But let's start with that. So I do have this Vernon. This is the logo one. So I always put one version on a page. Uh, logo on top, bottom uh, is the border one. Um, I actually quickly can show that with this one, because that's actually completed. So I have the logo version on top and the border version on the bottom. Um, because of that, I think it looks quite quite nice actually but yeah let's do this one right here okay this is the border version so it's going right here also if anybody's wondering I got the uh, binder from Amazon and the there we go and the uh, sleeves I got from a group order from this Korean side, which also does sell binders, but since I already had that one, I didn't need it. This is the logo version of Follow, I think this one is called. So let's store it right here. And then we have 
the last versions for Set the Sun, I think it's called. Um, this one is my one of my absolute favorite burning cards. I think it's absolutely adorable. Actually, in general, um, You Make My Day is my favorite photo card set for him. I absolutely adore the cards. Oh, absolutely adore the cards in general. Um, they're also my favorite for Vernon, for sure. For Hershey, I actually don't really know which one's my favorite. I kind of think this one as well, to be honest. Um, like this set in general. It just has such good vibes, I don't know. I just really like it. But that's it for now for You Make My Day. We have quite a few cards for You Make My Dawn. Um, so let's start with this one. I'm storing these the same way I do um, You Make My Day. So logo on top, bottom is the border one. And then one version per page basically. So I have this one first, it's the logo version. And I actually think I have the border version as well. Is this the border version? I think it is. We have all four cards on the front and then this is what the back looks like. I think this looks awesome. Okay, next thing we have is this card from the Dawn version. This is the logo back and it goes on top. There we go. This one is still in the Neo Q warehouse and we have my last page, which I have one card for. This is the border. No, wait, this is the logo for Eternal Sunshine. So this one is going right on top here. For an ode, I've decided to do something I normally never do, and that is um, doing a double spread because I think it will look amazing, I'm going to be honest. So I want to do the top row with just like the one colored bags and then the bottom row with the two colored bags. And basically, if you open this up, you'll have a row of um, Hoshi Vernon, Hoshi Vernon, and I think this will look good, but let's see. If not, I can always rearrange. I do have his full set for begin, so we can actually like look how it looks and decide. Um, let's see. Alright, this is what this looks like for now. I actually may rearrange this. I'm not totally sure yet. I may just move these on top so that like one member has one row and see how I feel about this. For now, I'm going to start like this and move over onto the poet, which actually, you know what? I can just try it out right here. So let me take these out real quick. And I do have, a f oh, I actually don't have a full set. So it's kind of dumb to try it. Oh, I do. I do have a full set, I'm sorry, please ignore me. I do have all four cards for Vernon right here. And we're yeah, just gonna try out looks. Um, if I do store like just one version on one page instead of, right, let's just quickly look which one looks better. I'm just going to put the peace signs on top of each other, so. Alright, okay, I actually think I like this better. I'm gonna just uh, store it like this. Um, I'll go back and do this after the video then. Rearrange, I mean. I actually think I like this a lot more because like the theme is the same then because they do have different themes as you can see here like this is in front of this like I don't know and this is in front of this like gray wall so I may I think I'll rearrange this to make it like this but now we have herb so let me take this out um I only have one Vernon card for this let's see we go all right this is the hope version we have the truth and i actually think i have a complete set for this right oh no wait i don't i have three no wait that's the real version what i only have one truth card i guess
Okay, that's the truth version. And we have the real version last. And take out Hershey. And I think I have a complete set for these, actually. Let's see. Oh yeah, I do. So I do have the full set for the real version. This is the real version. So now, um, I do have all circle cards for Hoshi, so I put them here. I don't know if I like that one yet though. I may just put them at the back. I don't know. Okay, next thing we have is um, Hengare. And I do actually have the complete set for Vernon here, so we're just gonna fill this row up. I think this will look super good. I'm not gonna lie. I really like the cards for Hengare, actually. I think those are one of my favorite cards they released. Um, I usually try to put the one that is a bit uh, more zoomed in on the top row um, that is the case for all of um, Hoshi's they does have one that's like more close up and then one that's a bit further away from Vernon that's mostly not the case it is the case here though technically <laughs> but yeah we have Hengari this is the Hana version this is completed now we have the Dill version which um, his cards look super similar <laughs> it's, it's so funny honestly like it's super funny what the why why do they choose like these cards i don't know why but um, obviously there's not really a difference in the amount it is away or not um i guess i'll just go for i don't really know what i'm going for i do like the background and there's a bit more so i'm going to put this on top all right this is the do version we have the net version which i do have both as well they also look both pretty similar um, they're easier to differentiate though, um, like the head is a bit different, but I don't really know what to do with this. I like this one more, so I'm going to put it on top. Alright, so this is the set version. And we have the net version, which I do have both as well. So. There we go, that's both of these. Those are pretty easy to say where which goes. Um, but for like Dull and Set, Venus cards are super similar. It's kind of funny actually. Alright, this is the the net version and that actually completes Hangar Day. And the last thing we have, or like for album cards at least, is um, semicolon. And I do have both of Venice cards, as you can see right here. There's again not really a version for sure, I guess. Um, that actually, I'm done with my Vernon album collection. I don't know if I said this already. It's just a few cards are um, currently still in the storage in my Neo Q warehouse. So currently, I'm waiting to ship those off. Actually. No wait, I did ship these off, um, but yeah, that is semicolon. And I do have quite a few more cards, as you, uh, sleeves as you can see here. And I do have a few non-album things. For one, I have this Vernon card from uh, You Make My Day. I think this is like, oh yeah, it does say here. That's the Taiwan edition. This came in the set I bought, so I do have it. I don't know what to do with it though. And oops, um, in the sets I do did buy on Neokyo, sometimes there were these cards with it. So uh, since there's four and they fit perfectly in here, I'm just going to store them. Also, I really like this one. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like kind of a glitter effect on it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It's like really subtle. But you can kind of see it. It does glitter, which is really cool. I guess I'll store these two on top. Oh yeah, really quickly. This is from the... We make you tour in Japan or the showcase I guess and this is from the um, 2020 Japan Dome tour but all three of these so yeah we can just start these I hope they fit uh, they fit in the other sleeves I used <laughs> so let's see oh yeah they do fit actually this looks super cool because it fills out totally let me just start these right here 
They also are pretty thick, so I really like these actually. And then this one. And this one. Cool. I really like this actually. And for now, I don't really know what to do with this, I'll be honest. Do I have some space in here? You know, for what? For now, I'm just going to put this here. I may just sell it, I'll be honest. I don't collect like Taiwanese or like any other. I don't even collect Japanese cards for a 17, so I don't know. I may just sell it at one point, but for now, I'm just going to store it here. And that was my storing photo cards video. Um, thanks a lot for um, watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next video, bye bye.